I've always hated gold tone fixtures and since I renovated my bathroom and took these gold tone fixtures out I thought I'd try an experiment and see if I can duplicate a brushed nickel finish that I'd like to do some light fixtures and my ceiling fans in my house instead of buying new ones. It's not durable for this type of thing but it's just an experiment. I usually try to follow the manufacturer's instructions when spray painting and do it within temperature because the finish usually turns out a lot better. But with 100 degree evenings in Las Vegas during this heat wave that was impossible. So I grabbed some Rust-Oleum enamel primer and started out with that after first brushing these with some Scotch-Brite just to rough up the surface. And this right here is Rust-Oleum high performance enamel and the color of it if you can see it it's called aluminum 7515 i gave everything a good coat with this aluminum colored paint and i used it because it's what i had on hand i didn't want to buy anything new just for the project if i could avoid it and it seemed to turn out okay in the color now i used a piece of steel wool pad to duplicate the brushed look uh, just by going in one direction really quick and I think it did a pretty good job looks like brushed I just went through one direction all four corners before using a clear satin enamel to cap it off with okay well this is it with some satin clear coat on it may be hard to tell what it looks like from here We'll do a comparison test here in a second. Alright, there it is. You can see that it has the brushed look to it and that it is silver, but it doesn't really quite match. If I can hold it up to here, hopefully it will focus again for me. It's hard to get the true look, but as you can see, it's much more silver than the brush satin nickel. It has the same patina as far as like sheen on it. It is satin. It is brushed. The color is off, so we're going to have to try a different paint. I stopped by Walmart, found a paint called satin nickel, so I thought I'd get it. Alright, so we just took that satin nickel and followed the same process as we did before followed by brushing and a clear coat and we'll go test it out and see if it comes any closer. I think this color looks a lot better. To my naked eye this looks a lot better than the aluminum looking color. It matches much much better and I think although it's not good for fixtures like what I painted it's gonna be good for this ceiling fan or for these hallway lights that I like the light that they give off because they don't have harsh shadows but I can't stand the gold ring fixture so I can change that easily I can think of some uses for the mirror and the hardware Right here, the janitor sink and the van cave. It's always been a saddle area with all the cleaners down on the floor. There's no mirror or anything, so I think I'll put it right above the sink over there. Rearrange some of this stuff they have on the wall. Uh, I don't know where that hat rack came from. It's been there for a while. And look, a blast from the past when I bought myself a Harley, mistakenly thinking that I was a Harley guy. I'm not, but I was happy that day. Inside the shop bathroom, you can see there is no toilet paper roll. None. Toilet paper's up here on the windowsill. Here we are with the wood cut to 24 and 14 inches, and we're going to do some really fancy joinery with these 3 inch deck screws, 8 of them, and a drill. There it is. It's just a box frame because I don't want to knock a hole inside of the drywall just to install a vanity mirror. So I'm going to frame it, put the frame on the wall, and then put the mirror right inside.
I just used a stud finder to locate some studs in the wall for the install and marked them off. My hardware bin supplied some angle brackets with which to install it. I know everybody at home realizes that this is nothing special, it's just a super simple installation with a few screws, but it's something that I needed that I didn't have to buy, and just by repurposing it, it's making this area a lot more usable and user friendly. Not every place that I wanted to install something had studs, so these are my favorite drywall anchors right here, the kind that screw right in. I find them to be stronger than the regular expanding types. So I hung up my hat rack. And of course this towel rack. Just to the left of the sink. And I thought it was a nice touch. Now we'll see where in here we're going to hang the toilet paper. I use the same drywall anchors for the toilet paper fixture. No wrong way. I don't understand the dilemma with that, but hey, I'm easy to get along with. And I think that Cosmo approved. And this wouldn't be complete without hanging up a reminder to think about my purchases before I go out and make them. On impulse, of course. The whole project had me wanting to clean up a little bit, spiffy up the area. I like it. And the bathroom is all nice and civilized now. I still have the problem of what to do with all this. Maybe that's for another time.